Okay. I may have purchased a little something from Amazon Black Friday deals. Here's what I got. It's this 49 inch ultra wide monitor from LG. Um, don't know if you can see, but I've already got a 34 inch one. Um, at the time when I brought this, I thought it was like really wide, but then I realized it just wasn't wide enough. Um, I did find myself um, kind of struggling to fit a few things in when I'm working, just because the height of it's slightly shorter than a normal 4K screen. So especially when I'm on my timeline in DaVinci, I'm not fitting enough like layers. So I thought, Let's fix that by getting more screen real estate. And this is what I got. It was like discounted by at least like 300 pounds. So I had to get it. It's a 49 inch, one full four hertz, nano IPS screen. Um, This should be good enough because I don't really game on my PC. I game on a PS5. Yeah, let's open it. Um, Yeah, let's set this up before I go to the Netflix event. Um, we're gonna watch Leave the World Behind. A special screen in here where you gotta dress up. But yeah, I've been waiting for this all day. So excited. The edits are about to get really easy. Wow, that is heavy. Okay, that's a little bit concerning that there's some mold I'm on the box so hopefully this thing works because this was a lot of money Oops. that is so heavy let's see this Wow, that is large. I don't think I'm gonna mount it this time to an arm. I'm just gonna leave it on the stand, just cause I feel like this is so heavy for it. Plus, I'm not really liking the stand that I got from Amazon, so let me take it off real quick. Wow, that is heavy. Damn! <laughs> Wow, that is wide. Yes! Beautiful. Cool. So what I love about this is it's finally got USB-C upstream, so now I can use my work laptop, just connect it via USB-C, and I don't need a separate charger for it, because um, that's been a pain. And yeah, here's to more productive sessions, but right now I've got to get ready so we can go to the um, screening of Leave the World Behind. I um, can't wait for that. Gonna be going with Hannah, um, so you'll see her later. I won't be bringing this camera though, just cause it's gonna be a little bit sus. Um, so I might just vlog with a phone and we'll see, but I'm gonna bring the Fuji camera, take some pics and hopefully show you. Bye. So today I was lucky enough to be invited by Netflix to go to the Leave the World Behind special screening, which is out next week and it stars Julia Roberts and Mahershala Ali. And yeah, it's this really cool disaster movie and I went in blind without watching the trailer. Also, side note, I hate how bad my red carpet photos turn out. I mean, look at this. Anyway, like I said, I went into the film blind, so I actually had no idea what it was exactly about. I was pleasantly surprised and it's definitely one of my favourite films of the year. Also, it was pretty cool that we got to see some of the cast, which I had no idea were coming. <laughs> Um, thank you all for being here, and I can say this because I've seen the film, congratulations. I had a great time, but I was scared. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, and um, everybody, <laughs> you're all going to be scared in a minute. <laughs> um, Sam, tell me about your reaction to this book originally. When you read cool, so I've just come back from the event. First of all, great film. That's going to be out on Netflix um, next week. And the cast was amazing. I wish we got to see Mahershala, but hey, we were surprised that Julia Roberts and the rest of the cast was even there. And yeah, I've just gotten ready for bed, but I did kind of like clean up the desk a little, so fixed up the cables, um, it's been a mess. And I'll pretty much set it all up now, but let me show you my two purchases of the day before I go to sleep. So one was the monitor, and the other was the BenQ light bar, which I've been wanted forever, but then I saw that it was on sale recently. Um, so I had to get it because it's probably the lowest it's ever going to be. And yeah, like I said earlier, I've switched from a 34 inch monitor to a 49 inch one. Um, this is the LG 49 inch. Uh, 
I'm just pretty much sure that it was in sale for Black Friday and I've always wanted like a 49 inch screen because um, I felt like 34 was a lot, it was a lot of space but I felt like it just wasn't enough. You always want more. And LG make amazing screens, so the moment I saw that price, I had to cop it. I'm gonna do a more in-depth version on the monitor on a future video, and I'll do that as part of the desk setup tour that I do every year. And the other thing I brought was the BenQ screen bar Halo, which I've wanted for ages, just because, just because it comes with this wireless kind of like remote control, which just makes everything feel like so cool and futuristic. But yeah, I've held back on buying this for ages, just because like. It just, it's so much money for a screen bar. But yeah, I'll do a more in-depth version of this, but it's basically got three different light modes. So I can have the front light, the, just the back light, and the front and back light, which is pretty cool. But yeah, thanks to this challenge, I've never tested my work ethic as much as this. Um, and I'm not gonna lie to you, there's been a couple of days where I really thought about just giving up and then doing an apology video, being like, I failed, um, which may be a cool video, but Again, I'm not trying to do that. That's like plan Z if I really, really need to stop this challenge. But like, but I'll delve more in it in tomorrow's video about being like halfway to a goal and just how much being halfway to something really affects you. So looking forward to kind of filming that tomorrow. Um, I'll film it all in 50 millimeter um, just for the challenge. But yeah, good night. Thank you for following along. Just a quick update video today. More tech and yeah, workspace video coming soon. Good night. Ugh. <sighs>